Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Steel Series Apex 9 TKL. I'm doing things a little differently here though, because I'm using this keyboard to show off the Steel Series OptiPoint switches. These are optical switches that are swappable with this keyboard and those in the Apex 9 Mini. And they come in three different variations, tactile, linear, and clicky. The clickies are the blue, linear, and yellow, and then the tactile are the pink ones. And in this video, I'm gonna basically swap out a number of switches on the keyboard in order to show you the differences between them, talk about the feel, and to do a sound test to show you the sound difference between them, because obviously that's important. Before you buy, you wanna know what they're for, what the experience is gonna be like, and what they sound like, because you don't wanna end up buying a keyboard of really noisy switches. Now you can swap out the switches on this keyboard and on the Apex 9 Mini, but they do use optical switches, and that's worth bearing in mind because these are specific switches. Optical switches aren't usually swappable, which is fairly unusual. But on this keyboard, on the underside, you'll find there's a keycap puller, which obviously allows you to take off the keycaps, and then you need a separate tool to be able to pull out the key switches. What we're doing here is we're gonna swap them out so you can do a sound test, but as standard, you get linear switches on this keyboard. You can choose from different variations, but you'll see if I pop off a few of the keycaps, you just end up with linear switches. And these are the most logical choice for many because they have a very low actuation force of 35 grams and a very low actuation point as well. You can actually set them to 1 mil or 1.5 mil, which is nuts. The blue clicky ones that you can see here have a harder actuation force of 55 grams. And obviously from their name, they are clicky switches and you'll hear them later on. Now you can get these packs with 35 switches per pack and you need two packs for the Apex 9 Mini and three packs for the Apex 9 TKL. So if you want to buy the switches and swap them out on your keyboard, that's the number you'll need. So you will need a few packs for this keyboard if you're going to do it. But obviously the blue switches are a lot more clicky and noisy and they won't be for everybody. If you're into typing more than gaming, then the blue switches are a more logical choice because they're basically the equivalent of Cherry MX blue switches. But these are optical switches, which mean they actuate with a light beam and should be more accurate and also faster in terms of actuation, more reliable. They actually use two different sensors, an infrared sensor and then a photo transistor sensor as well, which measures the amount of light going through and then basically tracks when you break that beam of light by pressing the switch. So accurate tracking. Now you will need a separate tool that doesn't come included with the keyboard or with the switches but you basically then just tug those switches out. Now the interesting thing about optical switches is they don't use the same setup as standard traditional mechanical switches, so you won't be able to swap out with any old switch on this keyboard because they only have a single stem to them. There's none of the usual two-pronged pin setup. So just bear that in mind, you can't just buy any old switch you will need optical switches. So that does limit your options, but actually these are theoretically superior anyway. And obviously you have a choice of three different switch setups in here. Now you can see the pink switches and these are the tactile ones. Again, they have a heavier actuation force than the linear switches at 55 grams and the distance that they can travel is more as well. I'll leave all the specs in the description so you can find out more, but they are quieter than the blues. So they do give a good experience still in a more tactile response when you're pressing them. And you again, you'll hear the sound test at the end to show off what they sound like in the keyboard. But even just sort of on their own outside the keyboard, you can hear the sort of loudness of those blue clickies by comparison. So again, just popping out those switches and pull those out and then tug them away. You will notice that the LEDs are in there for the RGB lighting. And so all these switches will work with that classic steel series RGB. So you should get some good lighting out of it in the end. But they're really easy to install as well. That's one benefit I will say to these optical switches because they only have that one pin in them and it's plastic. They're dead easy to push in without much fuss. So it's not a problem as it is with other keyboards when you're mechanical switches because you often find you're bending the pins while putting them in. So it's actually a lot easier. So if you want to sort of upgrade your own keyboard or change the switch layout, maybe just swap out the WASD keys for something else, or you want to swap out the entire keyboard, then it's really easy to do without much fuss at all. And obviously these are supported by SteelSeries and will work perfectly with the software and with the keyboard itself. So this is the end result. And I obviously have two rows of each. So you've got linear and then two rows of clicky and then two rows of tactile. So now I'm going to basically do a sound test. So stick around to hear the difference between these from multiple angles 
and hopefully it'll give you a good idea of what it sounds like. Be sure to check out the links in the description to find out more about these switches and the keyboard. Thanks for watching.